Hi everyone, today I'm doing a Jelly Cube inspired magical fantasy garden using some nice bright colors, white, white paint with Floetrol and a pale purple for the top coat of the canvas. So I'm going to layer some pretty bright colors at the bottom of the canvas what you see now is a very bright pink called Romance from Eraldo. Their paints are quite thick, a lot thicker than Montmartre. I tried to thin it down, but I didn't want to put too much water in it, so I just went with it. This is Light Purple from Montmartre. Very prissy color. And this is... A yellow called Wattle by Eraldo. You can see it's also quite a thick paint. And here we have green, which is also from Eraldo. And this is Cerulean Blue from Montmartre. All my paints are mixed with Floetrol, so just about one part paint to one and a half parts Floetrol, and with the Eraldo paints some water just to try and thin them down a little bit. I sprinkled on some extra pink because the pink is was the bottom layer i just wanted to make sure that there was definitely some extra pink at the surface this is the pale purple that i am going to be using for the top part of the canvas i'm now tilting the colors around so that they mix together not blend but just mix together and cover the edges of the canvas and I tilted the canvas up a little bit just so that the paint would have some interesting waves instead of just a single straight line. And I'm just making sure to cover the edges. I am recentering my paint, making sure that there's an even amount of paint everywhere and not all on one side. Now I'm just adding some extra paint at the top part of the paint so that I have a bit of extra color to blow over because I'm going to be using my airbrush to blow some of the paint up over the light purple. I only use my pinks and purples. I chose not to use the yellow and the green because you'll see, but I, I didn't want to use yellow and green there. So this is my pale purple. It's a little bit darker in real life. Not much, but definitely you can see that it is purple. And it really suits the rest of the painting. I like purple a lot so I chose to do that instead of just having plain white. Especially because purple is the main theme of the painting. So now I have Jilly's famous Berry Delicious and I used that to you be my main cover, my main color that blows up into the pale purple. 
that is why I chose to not put some yellow and green in that area because I just wanted it to be mostly purple and a little bit of blue and pink blown up into the pale purple. I added some extra paint above the paint that I'm going to blow over just to make it easier for the paint that I'm going to blow up with the airbrush flow easier. So there I go with my airbrush. I try my best to only grab some of the purple and the pinks and a little bit of blue. I really didn't want green to blow up but sometimes we can't control that and a little bit of green does go up but that's not too much of a big deal because the majority is the berry delicious and the light purple and a bit of blue and pink. Flow Troll causes some very pretty lacing so in the paint that I'm blowing up you do see a little bit of lacing. Because the airbrush is on a low setting there isn't a lot you need to give a bit more force for the lacing to happen but you do get a little bit and it really does add some character to the work. I really enjoy using Floetrol. It's a pity it is expensive. I would use it all the time but I can't. Most of the time I use the glue and water but sometimes it's really nice to just use the Floetrol to get the stunning lacing effect and cells. They're so different to when you use glue and silicone and I'm really happy that I used Floetrol in this painting. A little bit of extra blowing out just to make it a little more whimsical. This is my cell activator. It is plain white, Montmartre, with uh, one part paint to three parts Floetrol. I'm going to be using cards to swipe. There I dunk the card into the Floetrol and swipe in little squiggles. And you can immediately see the lacing that comes up and some cells and that is why I love the flow draw. You can see all the different colors coming up. It is really lovely. So when you use glue and water with silicone, it has a completely different effect. I think I might actually give that a try to see what actually happens. What what the differences are and the different effects and cells that one would get. Yes, I think I'm going to do that. I just carry on swiping and squiggling and then use a thinner piece of card to go over the pieces that I missed with the first round of swiping. While you are watching that, I want to tell you something that most of us have experienced. About two hours after I had finished the painting, and it was midday, so I didn't think to cover it, a fly decided to do a dive bomb into my canvas and left this streak across the painting. And my swipes are down from top to bottom the fly did the dive bomb horizontally so it's a very clear streak that he left behind him and I was not very happy about that. The painting turns out 
really really nice and this little bugger caused some issues for me I did manage to fix it up a little bit but we all know how it feels when a little fly or a little bug or even a moth that I've had before does a bomb dive into your painting that's the swiping done and I'm just going to quickly show you a close-up of the lacing that has happened and all the different colors coming through isn't that just beautiful Right, so I waited 20 minutes for the paint to dry a little and settle. And now I'm using a paintbrush because I don't have bamboo sticks to bring up some little stems, as Jilly calls them, for the balloon dips that will be happening at the top. It's now time to do the balloon dipping, the best part. So what I do is I do my balloon kissing along the canvas where you can see the obvious line where I started swiping. So the white against the colors. I try and go over any areas that are obvious, like the pink line over the blue. I, I cover that because that's just too obvious and I don't like it. So I take my time and enjoy the process. This is extremely relaxing and very interesting to see what you can actually get when doing this. I'm going to start doing my flowers on my stems with the paint that I get on to the balloon. So you really just dip your balloon and transfer the paint over onto the negative space by your stems. Sometimes you get less paint on your balloon so the flower that I just made is has a lot more paint and it is really cute it really looks like a flower and in some areas like there I have too much paint on the canvas in that specific area so what I do is I take the balloon and I just dip it a few times to remove that paint and then I dip some color into it and that works very well. So I have to do that a few times because the paint is a little thick, but that's fine. It's, it's part of the process and very enjoyable. One mistake I keep making is that my paint is too thick. So the um, area with the lacing is a little bit too thick and it does affect how the painting dries 
so I really have to make an effort with my paintings to tilt off more paint and have a thinner layer. I'm sure you saw that there was quite a lot of paint when I did the swiping, so I really need to work on that. There, once again, you see that I had too much paint, so I just had to take them off, and that created a very cute, delicate little flower. I continue on with this process, do some balloon dips where I'd like them, create my flowers. It's a lovely relaxing process and lovely to watch. So hang around and just watch the process with me. Well guys, that's the end of my painting journey today. I love this painting and thank you to Julie for showing us this and inspiring I'm sure many of this, many of us to try out this painting. It is beautiful and I look forward to doing many more of them. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Please let me know what you think and please subscribe, I'm really trying to get my channel to grow so thanks to all tell me what you think like subscribe and all that jazz here is a close-up to show you the lacing and how beautiful the painting is and i will see you again soon thanks bye